Welcome back to McNamara's Garage. In this episode, we're going to look at why you really do have to take your cylinder head to a machine shop if you want to do certain things to it. There's an MGB head. Let's take a look. So, kind of looks like a nice head, doesn't it? Well, I put new valve guides in there, and I can show you that in the video. Uh, that went okay. You could try that yourself. But then I honed them. How lined up are they with the valve seats? Well, probably not so much. I try to do uh, just some lapping of the valves, and you'll, I'll show that in the video. But they just kind of made a mess of the valve seats. You can take a look. Something you can decide for yourself. So what we have here is the big valve head for the MGB from 71 to 72-ish. Uh, I thought I'd be slick and get this for my 77 because it kind of needs a new head. Uh, but I found a crack in the valve guide here. So I'm going to try my hand at replacing at least this one. I haven't bought any yet. I just want to see if we can get it out. So what I did from Woodward Equipment, I purchased a valve guide driver for 1132nd guides. That works for the MGB here. And here it is. I put it in my air hammer already. This is just a Craftsman one. Let's see if it works. But you can see that it fits nicely into the valve guide and should be able to push all the way through. I still have the, still the uh, shim on there for the spring. out all right also please note this is pretty much an experiment because i don't really know what i'm doing i put some wd in there i watched some videos online i have it on a piece of wood here whoa that was cool Okay, now watch this. I've got a spacer here. Put this on, whoops. This should get it to the exact height I need. I measured it against another one. And to the other exhaust beside it. Bingo. Guy that's going to go in it, but I know, right, that's not going to fit well right now. I have a hone to put in through there. That's not bad. That top has been jacked a little bit.
Okay, after they're all in, then I'm going to take an 11 30 seconds drill bit down through. Uh, that's about 0.344, I believe, which will give us the, uh, just to kind of, same as a Rima. There we go. Now, I've read that you don't want to take it back out, so I'm just going to release it and pull it out the other way. Come on, you bugger. There we go. Okay, so mainly I kind of freed up our top there. And it's still, you know, right now it's still a very tight fit for the valve because we're going to need to do the honing still. Okay. So All right, now we're going to hone this out a little bit. I have this flex hone, I'll give you the uh, stats on it. also from Woodward Fab, and I'm going to put some motor oil on it. It says use 1030, um, and we'll uh, do a little honing so we can get the valve in there and test it out. All right, this one's a little bit, a little stiffer than I'd like it in there. So we're going to hit it with the 120 again on the drill with the hone. Put some oil on it here. And we'll hone it out. Next up is lapping the valves. Okay, there's a lot of videos online for lapping valves. This is my first time doing it. Uh, so I'll put some on here on the valve and I will oil Maybe a bit excessive. I saw this method used. I've used, I did try the hand method on one valve. Um, but let's see if I can use the drill a little bit here too. So I've got it hooked to my drill. Looks pretty nice. Nice contact patch. That looks pretty good too. On to the next.
So here's my latest setup for doing the valves. I, uh, the suction cup kept coming off. So I attached a piece of rubber hose to the top of the valve. I had a drill bit in it as well as to give it some more length. And I could put the drill in there, but I really wanted to go by hand. I was getting some radial marks on here when I was using the drill. So I went back to just doing it by hand and it really uh, is the better way to go. So I'm getting there, I'm, I'm through all of them once and I'm kind of going back through some of them that had those marks on them. Yep. You know when guys say you gotta send it to the machine shop when you gotta get seats done and everything? This is a little bit of a water test to see what's leaking through and you know, a couple hours and we've got a lot of water. Actually, this one's not too bad, but uh, the intake side is really coming through. I'd already tested these and they're really coming through as well. So yeah, pretty much a fail.